Welcome to my first Let's Play of Consortium. Uh, this is a science fiction role-playing game. I'm not going to talk too much about the game itself, as I don't personally don't know too much about it. And let's see where it takes us. Alright, so what is your Consortium experience level? First time intermediate or experience. Um, to play in this mode, you should be an expert with all Consortium Bishop combat mechanics. Automatic systems are completely disabled. The realistic oh this changes depending on the uh description i see all right um i'm gonna go ahead and go with intermediate because experience um i don't feel like dying too much with experience or failing too hard all right you are about to activate a temporal rift through space and time which will allow unprecedented access to an alternate version of earth in the year 2042 you will be given a speech and mortal control over another human within this other world, and will be responsible for altering and improving upon their world's regular course of events through informed action. This decision is not to be taken lightly. Everyone you are about to meet is real, and everything you will or you do will affect countless lives with limited consequences. I personally agree. You are accepting these responsibilities henceforth placed upon you. This game kind of reminds me of a uh, Ender's game, to be honest. Alright, so let's uh, dive into here. Hope they gave me a tutorial for not hitting first time. I'll be kind of lost. Pretty cool loading screen, although unfortunately, I hope it did not crash. Are they getting any errors yet, though? When an NPC is unconscious, stick them with nanites to incapacitate them indefinitely. You can incap incapacitate up to six enemies at once. Oh, there we go. Alright, it's loading now. I was a bit worried for a sec. Seems it's not want to load properly. Or load efficiently, anyways. I'm spending like my whole time playing consortium or loading the screen. There we go. All right, we're back. Loading screen took quite a while for uh, to load up. I don't know if that was just for the first time or what. It's pretty unusual. Pretty cool looking. Uh, this is pretty odd. What is this supposed to be? The sort of uh, time and space travel to 2014. I'm just gonna assume this is the direction I go in. Seems like a giant invisible hallway. I like my character's going insane. Oh jeez. What is this? What is this? Who are you? Nope. Can I run away? Oh god. Nope. I'm apparently insane. Yeah, this is definitely quite the storm. Oh god. E seems to be the interaction button. Oh, apparently someone knocked on my door and had to interact with it. Uh, 
come in, I suppose. Well, sand cut out, that's odd. Oh, hello there. This is cool. It's got uh, different options to interact with people. Uh, let's see here. Where am I? That's that's a good good question to ask. Or maybe. It seems like I can answer questions, but um, I wonder if I can switch these number keys. Alright, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll do those instead. For some reason my up, up keys aren't working. Uh, worried? No, Bishop. There's nothing to worry about. Not unless you're afraid of a couple crummy American F-35s trying to take over your cross to Portsmouth. A few more bad apples and you've sworn Mother Gandhi. It's just another day in the consortium. Alright, I have no idea what she, she just said. But, uh, yeah. Why are they here? Call me, but Americans make the best stuff. Oh, did anyone wish for war? Maybe a missing donkey like yourself hasn't noticed. Think about how many heavy hitting countries, since the resource wars ended, have practically abandoned most, if not all, their military disbursements. Hundreds of thousands of battle hardened monkeys are being tossed back into the world. not punch the lady. She has psionics. Hmm. Special programs instead of military spending? That sounds wonderful. Agree, Mayor. Mercenaries be damned. The world has been missing us since the war ended and in a right, so I guessing she's giving us a little backstory. Why are they bothering us? Whoa, that is quite a bit of talk. It's a long story, but let's just say the leader of this particular crew has a very strong disliking for our way of doing things. He likes to think he's doing the people of Bulgaria a service by pestering us. But really, they're as fed up with him as the tail. What if he say, say nothing? So let's get to suited up All right, there we go. To kick some homeless ass. Here are your basic consortium tools. You got your GCE, BUS, and assault helmet, all specifically tailored to fit you nice and snug. I don't know what any of that means, but yeah, let's get suited up and get prepared for whatever we are to do. You know. All right, so it seems like they give us an option to do quite a bit of backstory, which is pretty cool. Uh. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll just say nothing. Now, Horn Seven and I have some CCE maintenance to take care of in the lower crawl. Feel free to wander the ship and meet your new crew. All right, Bishop. Man, my character seems to have quite the uh, the bugs with the okay. visuals. What is this? Oh uh, yeah. Oh man, the. Captions are uh, spamming my screen. I'm going to go ahead and turn those off because they are pretty uh, distracting, considering they're taking up most of the screen. But uh, I think my character might be slightly insane because of all the whole going through the storm thing and mess messing around with the, uh, the visuals. But let's go ahead and um, steal all their beer. Or wine, what is it? Recycle? Alright, I guess I can recycle something. I gotta recycle everything. Is that how I eat stuff? It's, it's wonderful. I'm gonna try in the oven. 
what? Yeah, it seems I'm just gonna steal everything that they have. Sounds like the best thing ever. Hello door, or, oh, hollow door. No, no, oh. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go around exploring stuff. Follow the green arrows, blue arrows. Sounds good. All right, well, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and wrap up this episode here and we'll continue on the next episode. Thank you for watching.